It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl, the science quiz program here in the Prince George's County Public Schools where we bring together outstanding elementary and middle school students and test their scientific literacy. Test your own and play along with us today. Let's meet our six scholars. First from Northview Elementary School, would you please say hello to Kendall Bryant, Talon Hall, and Erica Lopez Haas. And from Roseryville Elementary School, we say hello to Christopher Branch. Zoe Jones and Sierra Owens. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with easier questions worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and finally 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. At the end of the two rounds today, we will have a competitor for University Park for the chance then to go on to this year's semifinals. Will one of these teams be part of our final four? Let's go over and make sure everything works properly. Look at this great team in their matching lab coats from North U Talon. Would you try your buzzer? Thank you. Good luck to you and to Erica and to Kendall. And in their matching blue shirts, the team from Roseryville. So we try yours. It too seems to be in good shape. Good luck to you, to Sierra, and to Christopher. All right, any questions before we start? All right, I have some questions for you. Let's play the game, let's have a good one. We go alphabetically N before R, so Northview and Talon, let's start the bowl. Give me a category and a number. Let's get physical for 15, please. Let's get physical for? 15. 15 points. Teams, the first question in the game. Brass, which is an alloy of copper and zinc, is often used to make things like locks and valves because those kinds of devices can't withstand what kind of force? Friction. Friction. They can't withstand an awful lot of friction. That's why if you're going to put your key in off a lot, taking it in and out. Now, you don't want a lot of friction in there because it's going to spark and it's going to wear things down. Try again, Red. Uh, Zoo Parade for 10. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Teams, there is a new campaign on television called Cause and Uproar, which is all about saving what felines? Rose Reveal. Lions. Lions, yes. Lions and tigers, threatened felines. Cause an uproar. Make some noise. Let people know that their numbers are dwindling. Good. Go green. Dateline signs for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, a multiple choice question. A new book out called Humble Horatio Beats the Big D is about a little boy who has trouble reading. Does he suffer from dyslexia, dystonia, or dystrophy? Northview. Dyslexia? Dyslexia is the right answer. Yes, indeed. Good. Red. Uh, green things for 15. Green things, 15 points. Seems look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, for this question. This may look like a palm tree, but it is not. It's called a cycad. It is a very ancient kind of plant that lived during the same geological period when the dinosaurs were in their heyday. What period was that? Rose Reveal. Jurassic? Yeah, it was during the Jurassic period. That was a Jurassic plant. Okay, good. Go. Green. Body systems for 15. Body systems, 15 points. Team scientists have discovered that people with blood types A and B are better able to fight bacterial infections, whereas people that have this blood type are better able to fight viral infections, Roseryville. Oh. Type O, yeah, the universal donor. Absolutely right. Yes, go. Green. Potpourri for 15. 
potpourri for 15 points teams. It was scientist Robert Hooke who discovered the very first cells looking through a microscope, who very carefully took notes, went back and repeated his experiments, formed hypotheses, finally got to a conclusion, who came up with the scientific method, method absolutely right, that all students learn today as they put together their science fair experiments. All right, you're off to a fast start there. You're up to 105. Northview at 65. They're quick on the trigger over there. Let's all remember that. Play accordingly. Go Zoe. Zoop parade for 15. Zoop parade for 15 points. Teams, because the monarch butterfly can navigate using the Earth's magnetic field and the sun's angle, it's almost like having one of these in its brain. Rosary Bill? Compass. A compass or a GPS or a GPS. All right, try again, Green. Green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Question is as follows. Teams, when you heat popcorn up to 400 degrees, it explodes and out pops what? Talon? Popcorn. Mm, not quite. Rose Reveal, when you heat a popcorn seed to 400 degrees, it explodes and out pops what now fluffy carbohydrate? Green. Again? Grain. Starch. Starch is the carbohydrate that's in the seed. That's the little packet of nutrients that the seed would need if it germinated and grew into another plant. Try again, please, Green. Dateline for 10. Dateline for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Multiple choice question. The royal family in England that started with Queen Victoria spread which of the following bleeder diseases to the royal families of Germany and Russia? Was it hemorrhagic fever, sickle cell anemia, or hemophilia? Which of those three rows reveal? Sickle cell. Not sickle cell. Queen Victoria spread what bleeder disease through the royal families of Europe? Sickle cell anemia, hemorrhagic fever, or hemophilia? Hemorrhagic? was the one neither of you chose. Hemophilia is the bleeder disease. Try again, please, Green. Uh, body systems for 20. Body systems, 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. If you exercise too much, as some students at the University of South Carolina did recently, the football players and the swimmers, they developed a condition called rhabdomyolysis, which is muscle fibers that break off the muscles, go through the bloodstream, and end up in what organ that causes renal failure? What organ? Kidney. Kidney, absolutely right. Renal is your adjective to describe any kind of kidney function, and you learned that well. Go green. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, the tropical storm that hit Australia recently and caused a lot of flooding is equivalent to a hurricane that occurs on this side of the planet. What kind of storm was it that hit Australia, Northview? More specifically, what kind of tropical storm? The equivalent of a hurricane? What do you think? Cyclone. Uh, cyclone. Cyclone, absolutely right. Good, all right. So we'll give those points to Northview. Cyclone or typhoon was the correct answer there. Our buzzer is rung. That means our first round is over. Our tally, Northview 75, Roseryville 140. We'll be back with our second round in just a moment. Don't go away. Welcome back to Science. I hope you're enjoying this game. We have six outstanding young people playing our game today. Three of them have been here a couple times already this season, the team from Rosaryville, but we welcome Northview for the first time this season. They had a bye in the first round because you guys did so well last year as a school, so it's nice to have you back. Talon, nice to see you back again. And for the first time, we welcome Kendall and Erica, all looking great in your lab coats over there. And I know you have two great sponsors, Mrs. Elizabeth Grove and Mr. Bruce Moffat, and they're out there rooting for you. Talon, any alternates on your team? Uh, yes, we have Brandon Vessels and Kyle Hagen. And we'll bring Brandon and Kyle out in just a few moments with your, with your sponsors. Who's the principal at Northview? Uh, Ms. Judith T. Bissett, Green and Queen, Prince George's County. Very good. All right. I like that. And uh, tell me, who's the mascot or what's the mascot at Northview? Uh, the Nighthawk. The Nighthawk. Very good. All right. And Northview is in Bowie. It's a relatively new school, not too many years old. And tell me about uh, what it is at Northview that makes you proudest. Uh, the amount of reading. Like, there's always reading going on, kids reading. In fact, just last week we had a book fair. Uh, so much money was made off all of the books that were bought. That's and amazing. That's, that's just wonderful. How much money did you make? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I heard 
I heard it somewhere like near like a thousand or something like that. That's, that's excellent. And anytime you you elevate reading to the most important thing at the school, you can't lose. And you guys are examples of well-read young people. Nice to have you here. Tell and tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, well, I like to play sports. Uh, I like my favorite is soccer. I play on a I play on a team in Bowie. And I and eventually sometimes I do like play video games and I love to read. That's great. And what do you want to do when you get older? Uh, I want to be an inventor. An inventor. And he shared with you earlier he wants to find something that uh, just makes the world a better place and boy that's the the best of reasons to go into that field. Erica, nice to have you with us today. Young lady who wants to be a veterinarian perhaps or a doctor, correct? Yes. And you have three dogs at home one of whom we don't know what breed it is, right? Yeah. And then you have a collie type, perhaps a collie type, and the other one you know is a chihuahua, right? Yep. That's wonderful. Tell me why you wanted to be on Science Bowl. Well, um, science is my favorite subject, and I thought that this would be a really great opportunity to express how how much I know about science. That's why, And that's exactly why you're here today, and you are chosen from your school. You're a good ambassador. You look wonderful. and. Uh, we're happy that you're here. We hope you have a good experience the rest of the game here. Kendall, nice to have you here. Tell us the Kendall story. What, did you, what do you do in your spare time? I like to do gymnastics, read, and do arts and crafts. Arts and crafts. And you told me you're interested in paleontology. Yes. Fossils. And you say you've dug for rocks before. How did you get interested in, the, in, the, in history like that? Um, I started reading books on history, and then I got inspired. See what reading can do for you. It can open up new worlds. It can be an epiphany. It can lead you to a, to a future career. Uh, if paleontology doesn't work out, you have some other options too, don't you? Yes. Like what? Like being a surgeon. A surgeon, wonderful. Well, you seem like a very serious-minded and dedicated young lady. I'm sure you'll be successful at whatever you choose. Rose, you're welcome. Roseville, nice to have you guys back again. Uh, you're playing just as well as you did before. You seem to be very disciplined over there. How did you prepare for this, Zoe? How often do you practice? We practice every um, week for two days, Tuesday and Wednesday, and we watch old and past um, science flow, and we compare our points to the questions that they answer. Absolutely. So that's a good way to kind of scope out the competition. Go into the videotape, this, in this case on YouTube many times is what people are doing. Tell us about Roserville. Down in the southern part of the county, Upper Marlboro, I think is your postal address down there. You have not been competing on Science Bowl. We've been here 25 years. I think this is your first year ever on our show. We, we love having you here. Who's your principal? Miss Rhonda Green. Yes, and she's out there rooting for you. And Miss Denise Bartlow, who is your sponsor. Boy, is she a sponsor to reckon with. She comes here and helps us judge. She goes over old questions and old games. She has really prepared you well. We appreciate all that Denise does and certainly all that Elizabeth does. Miss Grove, who comes to judge as well, and Mr. Moffat. Tell us about uh, the best thing at Roseville. The best thing at Roseville is just the environment. You feel so welcome and loved when you come around the teachers. I like that word, welcoming. If you walk in and you feel at home, that makes all the difference because anxiety is a terrible thing if you're trying to learn. Tell us about uh, what you plan to do someday. I want to become a lawyer. A lawyer. I can see you doing that. I think you're, you're very good. You got a good head on your shoulders. Zoe, before I leave you, any alternates on your team? Um, we have a lot of alternates, in fact. We have Zaria Downing, Juanique Thomas, Cameron Mickens, Justin Walker, Dante Faison, and Taylor Jones. And Cameron. And Cam I said Cameron Mickens. And yeah. That's right. And Christopher there. he was cutting them off on the figures. Let's see if she can get them all. And you did. You did a really nice job. Sierra, thanks for helping her out, too. Uh, Sierra, nice to have you back. A stylish young lady. She is, wants to go into fashion design. And what is that you draw on napkins? I draw outfits on napkins. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of the famous designers probably started out that way, you know, and then that's how you grow. That's how your life and your career evolves. How'd you get in, interested in fashion? Um, I watch America's Next Top Model and Project Runway. Yeah, very good uh, reasons to watch if you have an interest that way. Why'd you want to be on Science Bowl? Because Ms. Bartlow, she helped me w learn more things about science, and I thought it would be an interesting experience. Yeah, it's, it's a nice tribute to her that you agreed to do this, and you're making her proud. Christopher, nice to have you back again. Young man who likes lacrosse, lacrosse, and lacrosse, right? You live and breathe the game. How'd you, how, when did you first play lacrosse? I first played lacrosse because my parents wanted me to because it's a very good scholarship yeah. program. Not many people play it. 
Ah, so, ah, so you're gaming it that way, huh? I, I like that. And of course, there are a lot of big uh, lacrosse schools here in the area. It's a big sport here. In, I think it's the official, one of the official sports. The other one is jousting for some reason. I don't know many people who joust anymore. Uh, what, how'd you get all your science knowledge? I got my science knowledge over like the years of being in science class. I, I'm interested in science because like the experiments, it's very um, welcoming. So. Yeah, hands-on is really is helpful because you can see you can't just read about it, you do it yourself. I think that's great. Thank you very much, Christopher. Nice to have you back. Are we ready to get back to the game? Yes. Let's do this. We've got lots of points to give away yet. Northview at 75, Roseville 140, and the red team, you gave me the last correct answer, Talon. You told us Cyclone, so you have the chance to start us out. Uh, Zoop Parade for 20. Zoop Parade for 20 points, teams. Your question is as follows. Kind of gruesome. There are certain species of spider where the young spiderlings commit matricide. Meaning they do what? What do they do, Rose Rebuild? They kill the other baby spiders. They kill the other baby spiders? No. Northview, some young spiderlings are known to commit matricide. Some species. What do they do? Kind of gruesome. What do they do, Talon? Uh, they eat their family members or other siblings. No, be specific. What does matricide mean? They eat their mom. They eat their mom, absolutely right. And she willingly sacrifices her life to ensure the survival of the next generation. What, what, what a great mom, what a great sacrifice that is. Thank you. Thank you for helping them out, Erica. Go, Talon. Uh, Zoop Parade for five. Zoop Parade, five points, teams. In India, for thousands of years, they have charmed snakes, cobras. But in this country, people are jumping up and down on the ground because they're trying to charm these snake-like night crawlers that are valued by fishermen. Rosaryville. Worms or bait? Worms, absolutely. They're called worm charmers. And it seems to work. They'll come out of the ground. OK, whatever you like. Go green. Size potpourri for 20. Size potpourri, 20 points. Teams, the reason why you need to get a new flu shot every year is because the flu virus changes, or the other word for that is this. Rose reveal. Mutates. It mutates, absolutely right. Mutations in the virus means that we've got to come up with a new kind of defense to meet it the next season. All right, go. Let's get physical for 20. Let's get physical for 20 points. Teams, if you drop your cell phone in a glass of water, too bad, you're probably going to have to replace your cell phone. But you could discover by the amount of water that it displaces the mass, the density, or the Rosaryville. Yes, ma'am. Mass. Not the mass. If your cell phone falls in a glass of water, the amount of water that it displaces will help you to determine the cell phone's mass, density, or volume. Volume. Volume it is. Absolutely right. Good answer. Just like the Archimedes when he went inside the bathtub and the water came out. Good. Red, go. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical. 10 points. Here's your question, teams. Archimedes, I just mentioned him, said that he could move the world if he had one of these simple machines that was big enough that he could put, yes, Rose Reville. Pulley. Uh, not a pulley. Archimedes said, I could move the world if I had one of these simple machines that was long enough, I'd only have to find the fulcrum to put it on. A lever. A lever, absolutely right. Good, go. Uh, Body systems for 25. Body systems, 25. Big one in that category. Teams, the protrusion of an organ through a wall that normally contains it can give somebody what kind of H-initialed condition? A hernia. A hernia. Try again, please. Red. Uh, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points. Teams, a very shy person is sometimes compared to the shrinking variety of this plant that is small and purple. A shrinking what? Northview. A violet? Violet, a shrinking violet. Yeah, that's a shy, retiring person. Yes, sir. All right. Hey, we got a game going here. Northview 135, Rosario 165. Go red. Uh, Dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Get this. We'll almost have a dead heat. Here's the question. Teams. People who make cheese and use raw milk to do it are now being questioned by 
lawyers and judges because raw milk contains a lot of bacteria, which it would not if it underwent what process? Rosary milk. Pasteurization? Yes, ma'am. Pasteurization. If you pasteurize it, you superheat it, you kill those bacteria. Nicely done. Go green. Body systems for 10. Body yeah. systems for 10 points. Teams, if you really want to drive your parents crazy, just pop or crack the synovial... North you. Knuckles. knuckles is right, yes. I th the translation from Kendall to tell, and I thought, I bet she's saying knuckles. Knuckles, that's right. Cracking your knuckles, yeah, not a good idea. All right, go red. Yes, ma'am. What? Green had rung in first. Okay, we'll throw those, throw the question out. So the next, uh, whose choice is it? Is it the green's choice? You gave us the last correct answer. You gave me pasteurization. Go, Zoe. Green things. Correct. Judges, is that correct? Zoe, go. Green things for 25. Green things for 25? Okay. Here's your question. Teams, comedian Rita Rudner said once, I was a vegetarian until I started leaning toward the sunlight. Was she talking about a photoperiodic, a photosynthetic, or a phototropic response? Northview. Photosynthetic. Not photosynthetic. She was a vegetarian, Rita Rudner was, until she started leaning toward the light. Photoperiodic, phototropic, photosynthetic response. Phototropic. Phototropic, absolutely right. Tropisms are in response to stimuli. Go, green. Zuprate for 25. Zuprate for 25. Big one in that category. Look at the monitor, please, in the studio. Teams, this is a pangolin. It's a kind of scaly anteater, and it belongs to a group of mammals known as edentates. So named because they don't have any what? Northview. Yes, sir. Teeth? Yes, absolutely right. Dent was your clue there. Boy, you kept us hanging there, Tal, and I don't, you know, we're all gonna have little heart attacks here. Go, Red, go. Uh, science potpourri for 10? So, science potpourri for how many? 10. 10 points. Here's your question, teams. Chaos theory says that if one of these beautiful insects flaps its wings in Tibet, it can cause a hurricane in the Atlantic. Rosaryville. A peacock? Not a peacock, no. If one of these beautiful insects flaps its wings in Tibet, chaos theory says it can cause a hurricane in the Atlantic. Butterfly? A butterfly, yes indeed. Good, go red. Uh, science potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25 points. Teams, a condition called Edwards syndrome, which gives children heart and kidney problems when they're born, is caused by trisomy 18, which means the 18th pair of chromosomes has an extra one, three instead of two. Which means, since you have that one extra chromosome, the total number of chromosomes is... 47. 47. Yes, absolutely, for 25 points, go. Uh, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. Big one in that category, teams. The third rock from the sun is planet Earth. There was a TV show called Third Rock from the Sun. In our solar system, there is a first, a second, a third, and a fourth rock from the sun. I'll give you 25 points if you can tell me why there is no fifth rock from the sun. All right, 25 points if you can tell me, Talon. Is it because Pluto is not a planet? Uh, no, no, good try. Why is there no fifth rock from the sun in our solar system, Rosaryville. The other planets are made of gas. Yes, absolutely right. Jupiter is the fifth planet and is a gas giant, as are Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Nicely done. Less than two minutes. Go, Zoe. Body systems for five. Body systems for five points. If someone is really, really, really thin, they say that we have been, have been reduced to just what? Two body parts. All that's left? Skin and bones. Skin and bones, that's right. Go, red. Uh, green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, strangely, herbal tea is made of any part of the tea plant except for the what, Rosaryville? The roots. Not the roots, no. Northview herbal tea, strangely, can be made of any part of the tea plant except for the what? The stem. The leaves. The leaves. Okay, most... Tea is made from leaves, but not herbal tea. Go red again. Uh, let's get physical, physical for five. Get physical for five points, teams. The laws of physics say that when molecules slow down, they take up less space. 
The exception to that is water, and you discover that every time you try to make these in your freezer. Rosary Bill. Popsicles. Popsicles? Mm. Judges? We're going to give that to you, yes, because of the expansion. Water expands, ice expands. We will give you those points. Go green. Dateline size for five. Dateline for five points, teams. Recently on The Simpsons, the crazy Dr. Frink received one of these ultimate science prizes from a real life winner. Rosaryville. He got, he got a Nobel Prize. Yes, indeed. That's what I want to hear. Science Pope Brief for five. Last question in the game is as follows. If you watch the Twilight movies or read the Twilight books, you know that lycanthropy is shape-shifting in humans to turn into these killers of... Yes? Werewolf. Werewolf is exactly right. And with that, we come to the end of a well-played game. Give yourselves a hand. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. And welcome back to Science But We were applauding just before the break because these two fine teams played a magnificent game. Back and forth, hardly a missed question. Great teamwork. We are proud of all six of you guys and, by extension, all of our players today. Our final tally is Northview 205, Roseville 250. Congratulations, Christopher, Zoe, and Sierra. You're going on. First year, what a performance you have made. Mrs. Bartlow, I know you're very proud of this team. And look at all the alternates. Wave as I call your name. Ronique and Cameron and Justin and Zaria and Dante and Taylor. Did I miss Justin? You got him twice. Congratulations. And over here at Northview, let's see some smiles. Kendall and Talon and Erica. Talon, you came up with some really great answers in that second half there. Just when we thought all hope was lost, you brought them out again. The alternates wave as I call your name. Brandon and Kyle. Mr. Moffat, Miss Grove, wonderful sponsors. Thank you for all your help and for helping us judge as well. And Miss Judy Bissett, the so-called queen of reading. What a great title. She is here supporting her team today. She's obviously made a great impression on her team. We hope this group of young people has made a great impression on you as well. We hope to see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.